We'd like to welcome our guests for tonight, Sarah Petkus and Mark Koch. They are with Robot Army LLC. They're uh, locals in town who have a successfully funded Kickstarter. And I'm going to start with Sarah because this robot here is her brainchild. Let us know about how you dreamed up this robot and what it's all about. So basically, this is a Delta robot. Um, traditionally, they're seen upside down, oriented the other way, and they're on assembly lines doing pick and place because they're really fast. So um, what I dreamed up, I um, decided to repurpose this robot for something a little bit more artistic. So I made a miniature version and put a RGB LED on the top. And I'm basically going to copy and paste this 100 or 200 times and fill a room with them. And they'll be interacting with um, bodily motions. So right now we have like the connect and the leap and they respond to our movements, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cool. And Mark is the circuit engineer behind this team. Tell us about how you met Sarah and what you guys have gone through together. Um, in the early days of Sin Shop, which is the Las Vegas hacker space, um, I was holding it in my garage uh, get our, to get our group started. And Sarah was somebody who just showed up and started working on her pro pro on, sorry, <laughs> working on her project there. Um, and I knew what a Delta robot was already, and I wanted to build one for like years. And so I saw her building one out of coat hangers and cardboard, and I kind of lost my mind. And so we became best friends and started collaborating on. Uh, what the robot you see here. Great, and I want to congratulate you guys. Your Kickstarter actually raised 150% more than you were intending. So you sell starter kits, right? You yes. want to tell everyone wow. else a little bit more about that and what they yeah, can Yeah, how much them. did you raise? How much did you ask for? And how uh, much did you raise? We asked for um, 10,000, which would be 100 kits worth of sales. Um, we got 250%, so it was about like around 250 kits, 200 to 250 kits. 25 grand? Yes. Oh, yes. So wow. Like Good job. <laughs> All right. Get those kids rolling. It's, it's a big army. So yeah, we can potentially build um, another 200 robots for our um, installation. So yeah, for every kit we sold, we could afford adding another one. But um, the kit comes with everything that you see there, and all the code we develop, like including the Connect code, um, is open source. So whoever assembles a kit can follow along and build a robot and have it do all the crazy stuff that we have ours doing. That's great. And before I move back to you, I'm going to have you select one of these fortune cookies. Uh, you guys don't know since it's your first night here, but at Downtown Podcast, we have a cookie selected for the evening, but it's going to be the fortune for Vegas Tech and downtown's entire week. And we're going to snake it's the through. the fortune for everybody here. Right. It's the fortune for everybody here. We're going to snake through the audience, and you're going to play a game of telephone. Yes. Sorry about that. She's dropping luck on it. We yeah. saw her do that. Luck. She distracted you. I'm okay. sorry. No, you just Pick and place. <laughs> so go, go, ahead, go ahead and select one, and later we're going to drop this in the back, and you guys are going to play telephone, where the first person is going to whisper the... Uh, the fortune, and we're going to see if it comes anything close to what's actually said when we get to the front of the line. Okay, cool. So go ahead. Do you remember the old telephone game? Can you whisper to somebody else? Yeah. Deal. Can I open it or? No, no. Unfortunately, oh. you can't. Sorry. I'm like, you can't it's not it. your fortune. It's all of our fortunes. <laughs> so you did the important part, which is picking it out of this. Now, if you could please give it to our expert fortune cookie handler. Round please, of applause, guys. Please lower your head. Nice. Uh, so also on your Kickstarter website, you mentioned some really frustrating speed bumps when you were building this and going through your prototypes. Do you guys want to discuss you know, the hardships and something that you've learned, maybe a character shaping about the whole thing? Well, one of the challenging things about doing a Kickstarter, especially when there's just two people in your group, is um, you have to wear a lot of different hats. And um, we're both, we're nerds, we're good at doing like the tech related side of things, but um, learning how to do all the promotional stuff and the PR work and, you know, writing your own press releases and articles and whatnot right. and kind of pushing those out into the world in so many different voices. Um, it's, it's rough, it's rough getting people to listen to you. Right. So um, that was, I don't know, probably where I grew the most. Sure. And what about you, Mark? Oh God. Um, so I'm an electrical engineer by trade, but I had to do lots of mechanical engineering okay. things, which I kind of know, but I kind of have to teach myself as I go. And accounting. Like financial I know, accounting? I'm really good at QuickBooks now, which is not something I really sure enjoy doing. More money so. comes in than goes yeah. out. Yeah. That's yeah. Or just knowing where it all easy. went. Yeah. I think that's part of the whole entrepreneurial spirit. You're going to have to like take yeah. on all these different tasks yeah. that you probably weren't comfortable with at first, but yeah. congratulations. So we actually have an idea, right? We want to see what this thing does, and um, we hear it can dance, and we have a. So bad it, da it dances. <laughs> well, yeah, yes, they're dancing. You don't. 
You know who's a bad dancer? Who? Joe. Joe. Where's Joe? <laughs> Joe really is a bad dancer, though. What do you say? I think I'm one of the best, but whatever. <laughs> do, you, do you think do you Joe think, could learn from this robot? Do you think this thing could teach Joe how to dance? Is that possible, or is it? Oh, maybe, yeah. You know, if you right. dance as good as you look. Yeah. <laughs> don't feed, don't feed his ego. That's why he's like this. I call myself jo uh, Fabi Joe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, so this thing is Junior's his name, right? Yeah. Okay, Junior. Do you mind maybe teaching our oh friend Joe how to dance? Oh wow. Yeah, you definitely are picking it up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, wow, that is really good. Oh, right. And I think that's about enough. Okay. Um, that's all we can bear for this evening. So thank you guys All right, for yeah, coming thank you and sharing your project. I appreciate it, that's good.